Hi, I'm Permian Strata. Years ago, when I started projecting video for music events, I had only the vaguest idea of what I was doing. For my earliest shows, I used Resolume to mix between samples of old experimental films by Brackage, Fischinger, McLaren, to name a few. I kept my setup as simple as possible, cross-fading between two layers as though I had two turntables. My priority was stacking my deck with content rather than exploring different ways of manipulating that content live. But then I started to hit the point of diminishing returns. Every time I went digging for samples, I came back with fewer and fewer, and I couldn't escape that nagging feeling in the back of my skull that I was little more than just a plagiarist. It was clear that I needed to start creating my own content if I wanted to move forward. But I still didn't have any clear sense of how one should do that. So I began amassing video gear, analog and otherwise, and started making content along these lines. I started with a Panasonic mixer and continued buying stuff until I had a rack full of LZX modules. My original plan was to transition away from using a laptop and towards using hardware live. But once I had actually amassed enough hardware to do that, it was too much hardware to bring to a gig. So instead, I used this hardware to create loops like these that I played back live in Resolume. But it was a really time intensive process to capture video from Resolume, but, or sorry, video from the hardware edit it into loops in Premiere, and then th use those loops to build out my Resolume project. Not to mention, constantly buying new gear is cost intensive. So, I switched to creating loops in Touch Designer, such as these. This approach was much better in a lot of ways, but there's still a fun fundamental level of jank at the core of this workflow. I still had to capture in Touch Designer, edit in Premiere, and import into Resolume. And the more of this content I made, the less hard drive space I had. And most of this content didn't loop smoothly, so I had to rely on these awkward crossfades. But the most central limitation was that these loops are set in stone once I render them. Sure, I can add filters in Resolume, but I couldn't actually change the underlying animation. So I knew the only way forward was to switch to using the Touch Designer for live performance. And in order to make that switch as seamless as possible, I needed to create an interface in Touch Designer that would have similar functionality to what I was already doing in Resolume. So, I started with the same basic concept that had guided my approach to using Resolume thus far. Pretend that I have two turntables. My first step was to hand draw a mockup of the UI. My first implementation of the UI ended up being pretty close to this initial plan. Uh, the idea is that I have two decks, source A and source B, and the same set of patches are selectable for each. So I can set source A to play patch 4, spin up patch 7 on source B, crossfade to source B, switch source A to patch 1, crossfade back to patch A, and so on. Each deck has a set of 8 controls that are mapped to different parameters in each patch, and each deck has a set of color palettes to choose from. And then the global controls, such as the effects parameters and the audio input sensitivity, I control with an external MIDI device. But of course, unlike Resolume, which mixes between pre-rendered video footage, this UI mixes between different base comps, each containing a different self-contained network of nodes. Each one of these patches is when each one of these patches is selected, the comp starts cooking and generating content in real time. The most work-intensive part was making the UI itself. The uh, actual underlying functionality was pretty simple. The key to making it all work was this extremely brute force Python script. Uh, that runs in the background, and makes it so that only the selected patches are cooking at any given time. As a side note, there's probably a much better way of doing this, so please let me know if you know one. Over time, this UI evolved in a number of ways. I went from 8 patches and 12 palettes to 34 patches and 27 palettes. I made the video monitors different sizes so I could easily distinguish between the preview monitors and the final output monitor at a glance. I added thumbnails for each patch. I added some buttons to switch between different blend modes, and the patches are now running within engine comps instead of base comps. As always with, as always with these things, there is still a lot of jank. I still have to keep a spreadsheet to remember what slider does what for each patch. I have to manually create and import a thumbnail for each patch. I have to remember not to run two of the more resource-intensive patches at the same time. But at the end of the day, I'm able to generate audio reactive animation in real time, which is something I could have never dreamed of doing when I was just starting out. And that makes me very excited to see what else I can accomplish with Touch Designer. Thank you. Thank you.